Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio page properties. My name is Tuzik. Today, we will learn how to configure add page design and how to enable add page sub form. So let's get started. I will make use of an already existing project by name, Project 1. If you don't know how to create a project with Rad System Studio, please visit the link in the description section below. From your project tables, select any table of interest. From the table pages, select Add Page. On the Page Properties, locate Page Design. Let's start with the page title. By default, Rad System Studio has given the Add Page a title but you can rename it to what you want. The next property is the Submit Button Text. At this point let's preview our project before we continue. Click on the Publish button on top here. After publishing preview it on any browser of your choice. I will navigate to the page we are working on, which is the Sales Ad page. Back to Rad System Studio, by default, the Submit button text is labeled Submit, let's rename it. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. The next property is Capture Validation. By default, this property is turned off, to enable it, click on Enable Capture Validation Input Area, and then select True from the options provided. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. The next property is Custom Page Validation but we are not going to configure it in this tutorial. The next property is Auto Complete Field. By default, this property is set to True, but we can disable it by setting it to False, just like this. The next property is Subform. This property is very useful. With this property, we can post two or more different forms together using a foreign key relationship. To enable it, Click on the Sub Form option button. A dialog box pops up. From here, we can configure Sub Form properties. Use this green button to add a form and the red button to delete a form. You can add more than one form too. With the help of these arrow buttons we can move each form up or down. I'm going to make use of a single form. Now let's connect this form to a table, on the Sub Form property. Click on the Relationship Type Input field, and choose the type of relationship you want. For quick demonstration, I'm going to make use of one-to-one -one relationship. Click on Child Form. From here, we select the table we want to connect our form with. I'm going to use Customers Ad Page. You can use any table of your choice, depending on what you want to achieve. Click on the Foreign Key Input Area. From the options provided, select the field to be updated with this subform it after posting. Please take note, the field selected as the foreign key will be hidden from manual entry, because the field will be modified by the subform. Click OK button, publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. Please observe the customer ID field. After refresh, the field is hidden because we use it as the subform foreign key. Let's fill our form and submit to see it in action. As we can see, we post two forms in one click at the same time with a key relationship. The next property is Form Layout. By default it's set to Horizontal Layout. To change it, click on the Form Layout Entry field, then select any layout of your choice. I will choose Vertical, then Publish and Preview Project. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notification bell icon to get notified when we post a new video tutorial like this. Thank you.